Hello, networkers, and welcome back to another episode of Ask a Network Engineer, where I will answer one of your questions. And this question comes from Boy 12 and it's a long one, so I want to give you a summary of what he talked about. It's really a good one. So, Boy 12 he's from the Bahamas, and he wants to be a network engineer. But he's finding it challenging of finding jobs to be a network engineer, even a IT help desk or anything that can be relevant to eventually become a network engineer. So he's asking questions on what is the best approach to become a network engineer from where he lives. So that is kind of the basic summary of what um, you've been asking about, and it's a great question. So let me talk more about that. Okay, so this is something that I talked about a lot, and it's, it could be a little uncomfortable to talk about. But the one thing I've always talked about, or I've always said, is that I want to be honest with you guys. And this is, again, a topic that I really brought up when it comes to employment, to become a network engineer. And it is based on where you live. Location is everything that can make opportunities easier. So if you live like near a big city, you are in good, good shape. If you live not in a very big city, um, then the opportunities would be very minimal. And I talked about the example that I was considering of moving to Mississippi there in the South. Uh, that quickly changed when I saw the job market out there. There are some jobs, but not too many. And the reason why I say it's difficult to talk about this because it's really, it's a life change. If you live somewhere for a long period of time, it's probably challenging to move somewhere that could have better opportunities. You're talking about maybe you may have family. That's not something that's easy for you to pick up and move. Um, you may, your spouse could be also in a job. You may, have, you may have kids that are in school and it could be hard for you to do all of that. So that's why it's really, really challenging that if you are in a condition where it's harder to move, it will make the process of being a network engineer very, very hard. So for me, when I started out, I was in the San Jose, California, Silicon Valley area. There were plenty of jobs out there, so which meant plenty of opportunities. So it was very, very easy. But I have known colleagues that have lived in different parts of the United States and have found it challenging. They found it challenging because the number of technical jobs were very minimal. So they were mad, they're angry, they're like, I don't know what's going on here. You're saying it's so easy, but it's not easy for me. And I tell them, well, where do you live? And they tell me where they live, and I do a very quick search, and I tell them there aren't a lot of jobs in that area. So that means you're really, it's tough. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna change the video. I'm gonna do the recording now for my computer over there to kind of give you guys a baseline of what are the jobs? where I live, to give you a foundation of what is possible out there. So I did the search for the Bahamas and well, you see for yourself. But the point of me doing this is that it will give you a tool, a resource that you can actually look at to determine the type of jobs in your area. And then you can make personal decisions on what is your next step to eventually become a network engineer. Because the answer could likely be to move to a high density, a big city location. The San Francisco area, Los Angeles area, Seattle, Houston, Atlanta, New York, these are big city and the vicinities around them have plenty of jobs. So, let, so let's change the, the video recording here. I'm gonna show you what you can do to figure this out to see what is the possibilities where you live. We're now on my computer and we're at linkedin.com and I'm logged in under my account. So if you do not have a LinkedIn account, please do that now. I talked about this in the earlier episode on our channel, so make sure to look at all of our videos on our channel. But I talked about LinkedIn and how valuable it is. So make sure you do that first before you continue on. Do that first and then come back to this video. 
Okay, so once you log in with your account, then you want to go to the jobs tab right here. Okay, and here there's a lot of ways how you can search for jobs based on your location or the type of jobs that you're looking for. Now, my profile says a lot of network engineers, so you see a lot of hey, these are some recommend here's some recommended um, jobs you can actually apply for based on where you live. Now, for your location, if you want to know what jobs exist in my location, here's what you do. Go to advanced search right up here. All right, and uh, then go down to more options. This is a better view, in my opinion, right here, once this loads up, right here. And here's what we're gonna do. So for location, okay, you can say located in or near, but for the country, you wanna specify your country. So in the case of Baden Boy 12, he is based in the Bahamas. So let's go ahead and select uh, Bahamas, which is right here, okay? And you can say any kind of jobs located in or near or anywhere. We're just gonna say located in or near the Bahamas because that's where you live. And for job title, let's keep it simple. We're gonna say network engineer. Oops, okay. And that's pretty much all you need to do. We don't care about particular keywords. You can do that if you like, or even the company name. We don't care. Whatever company is trying to hire network engineers. And then from there, you do a search. Now, here's what's going to happen, because I, I had done this before. There are no um, results, no jobs posted in terms of LinkedIn that is available in the Bahamas. Okay? Now, this is only one particular tool. Okay? That doesn't mean that you go here and you're like, oh, no, there's no jobs in the Bahamas. This is one tool. There are many, many job-related sites. But LinkedIn is one of the largest professional social media sites. This is how professionals communicate, integrate, and get hired. This is a very powerful website. And that's why I usually say this is the best tool to actually use. So, so as you can tell, that me doing a search for a network engineer, no results come up at all. Well, let's be more specific, though. Let's say maybe anything that has the word computer in it. You know, let's be more, let's see. Any IT opportunities? Hmm, there's nothing there. Okay, let's remove that. So let's say any job for that matter. And yes, there's hotels and sales manager, asset management. Actually, one of this is what Bad and Boy 12 talked about. He talked about some hotel related work. And you're right, there's nothing technical that is listed here. So, as you can tell, when it comes to location of being a network engineer, it is very, very challenging. Slim to none that those opportunities will exist uh, in the Bahamas. Let's try another example. And let's try what I was talking about earlier is I was considering of moving to Jackson, Mississippi in the south of the United States. That's where my mother and my sister lives. I want to be closer to family. And one of my uh, determinations of moving or not moving was actually based on what I'm going to do now. So I basically went ahead and said, okay, let's see what network engineering type of jobs exist in that location where I would be living at. So once again, I went to jobs. Okay. And I went to advanced search, went down to more options. Okay. And for title, I went to network engineer. Oops. So if I could spell, that'd be fantastic. Okay. And um, I don't know the exact postal code. I could figure that out. But it, it is in the United States, located in or near. But for the location over here, I'm going to add a location. And that is Jackson, oops, Jackson, Mississippi area. That's what I did. And once I did that, I went ahead and did a search. And uh, okay, there's 28 results. Okay. So there's one for a network engineer for some company called URS. Okay, so that's possible. Uh, I see uh, there's one, a network engineer for a company called Baumgar Corporation. That's kind of in that location. And of course, a lot of jobs for cloud network engineers for EMC. That's, that's actually there's a lot of jobs there. Oh, actually a lot of them are for different cities within Mississippi, I can tell. But anyway, this gives me a good baseline that Networking opportunities are very light. There is something which is great, but this gives me a good ballpark. 
So where do I live now? Well, here are those results. So let's go ahead and say jobs once more. And let's go back to here. Okay, so once again, we're gonna type in network engineer. And I live in the San Jose area, or actually the San Francisco Bay area, though, but we're gonna say San Jose, because it doesn't like that combination. There we go, San Francisco Bay Area. That's what it is. Now let's do a search now. 332, so I'm like, wow. And I could be more specific with my search. It doesn't have to be network engineer. It could be security engineer or something like that. But network engineer is pretty much a good title I like to start with. And there are many opportunities for network engineer, for Visa, for Verizon that I see from Salesforce, that's awesome. I should actually check that out and many, many pages. This is what I'm talking about of doing a general search to determine the type of jobs that you want to be. You want to be a network engineer. So determine what actually exists, what potential opportunities exist in your location. Now, th that doesn't mean that you're applying for these particular jobs. You're getting an understanding that, wow, there are 300 jobs in the San Francisco Bay Area focus around network engineering, okay? If I say security engineer, I may have to, I may have to say network security, but let's just do that first, no biggie. Let's see what comes up there. Again, I get around almost 400 results of almost the same thing. So there are a lot of opportunities here that I can pursue for living in the San Francisco Bay Area. So that is basically what I want you guys to do. If you are struggling to find opportunities to be a network engineer, okay? And I can do a search also for help desk, by the way. I just chose network engineer just to get an understanding of what is possible out there. So if you are struggling to, to find employment, go to linkedin.com, go to the jobs tab and do your searches to see what is possible out there. And then from there, then you can make some decisions on what you should do next. And that could be making a big life change of moving to a location that to a big location like San Francisco Bay Area, the Los Angeles area, New York area to some of these bigger cities. Now, that, that doesn't mean that I'm living in San Francisco. I do not live in San Francisco or in San Jose. I live pretty much in the middle, like in between those areas. So you don't have to live in those locations, but being in the vicinity of those locations will make a very big difference. And we are done with this episode, so thank you very much, Bad and Boy 12, great question. Um, don't be disheartened by the information that I provided. It's just context and things for you to think about for personal decisions, but also how it could shape up for your professional um, career as well, okay? So once again, thank you very much for that great question. And I wanna hear from you guys. So post your questions in the comments below about anything in the networking field or being a network engineer, and your question will come up in a future episode on our channel. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, that means a lot. Please like this video, and also check out our training content that we have at routehub.net. We got a lot of great training that we release every week, new updates, keep everything fresh and keep it going. Everything from a practical perspective, not certification, but from a practical perspective of how do I deploy a typical solution step by step. So check out the website for more details. And once again, for the third time, thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.